I told you I just started reading the Space Trilogy. Did you read that yet, Neil? Ever? I haven't read that, now. I'm telling you, it's a hidden gem. All right. It is a hidden gem. You mentioned that, and you know, people, oh, C.S. Lewis, oh, yeah, Screw Tape Letters, Narnia, yep. Mere Christianity, Space Trilogy? No. Explain it to us without <clears throat> giving anything away. Oh, my gosh. Okay. It's a, it's a fantasy, sci-fi kind of a trilogy, so it's fun and brilliant and adventurous in itself. Mm-hmm. But Lewis is always like he's got, he's doing a little subterfuge there. Subterfuge. So he's talking about, he's attacking the scientific reductionism of our age, the demythologization. Like, mm. you know, eh, there's nothing out there. There's no transcendence. He's like, it's, we're in a great dance. We are in the womb of worlds. It's everything means something. And so he's got this amazing interplay between the masculine and the feminine, the great dance of that. Uh, the fact that everything is full of the divine. So as you're, as you're diving in, you're realizing he's doing therapy for you because you and I have been sort of hypnotized by this scientific reductionism for it's, a century. It's, it's funny you say that. I've only read like the first three chapters, but I think within the first chapter, it talks about Ransom coming upon Devine and Weston. Yes, yes. And he f feels like they might be doing something criminal, but believed like all men believe in our age that he could never stumble upon such a thing. I right. wonder if yes, that's... Yes, yes. And the names all mean something, obviously. Is that right? Is it so, divine or divine? I think it's, divine. It's, it's like a little play. It's mm. not because he, he's not divine. And Weston is sort of iconic of Western Ooh. scientific reductionism. Ransom, he's going to be the hero character who will, by his actions, end up becoming a savior kind of figure. And fun fact, he's based on uh, Tolkien, C.S. Lewis's good friend. No way. He's a philologist. Yes, that's right. A lover of language. Tolkien's a lover of language. So Ransom, just think this is Tolkien. Okay. Yeah. So epic adventure first book is essentially the travel to mars which is named something else malacandra there's a heavy Way masculine cool, theme going on there like what is masculinity so as you're reading the first book think about that paralandra is venus it's the second book and it's the feminine mystery and it's it's an incredible book ransom's character so you're he's not kinda, giving it away i'm right? not giving because, much away here yeah. but He's essentially kidnapped by Weston and Divine, brought to this yep. world, but there's a mission because Paralandra is a new beginning, a new man and woman who make a new choice. Yeah. And then I'll just stop right there. All right. And you can imagine where it goes. The final book is this epic battle between good and evil cool. and all things coming together. Yeah. Yeah, I was saying to so you good. yesterday, like it's obviously not Tolkien. Um, nothing mm -hmm. is, of course. Right, true. But I'm also shocked that it's not more prevalent which just leads me to think prima facie just isn't that great of a work it i is. shouldn't think that way but no, like i don't know no, a ton no. of people who've read it yeah. I, i've tried to find the three books in separate form as opposed to one book with all of them in it i can only find it on ebay yeah so why isn't it as popular as some others is you know, it because it's not as good or is it because we're not as good you know how long it's taken for theology of the body to sort of explode yeah. mm. it's similar really and all right because as i reread the space trilogy and I want to call it the Ransom Trilogy for reasons. After you're done, you'll realize, don't call it space. Okay. Um, it is theology of the body. It is, it is, it's the golden key. So I think, you know, all the good stuff gets smeared over, attacked, thrown a blanket over it. Don't look at this right now. Um, so many good things happened like that. Louis de Montfort's uh, True Devotion to Mary, right? Literally locked in a box mm -hmm. for like a century until it came out. And we know now why, because John Paul II was rocked by that book. And it affected his whole papacy. So yeah, space trilogy. I, I mean, a couple wrongs down, but there's a lot there. I'm excited. Yeah, yeah. The last few years, I've done a book every August, and mm -hmm. last year was Lord of the Rings. But I read that June, July, August because that's a mammoth undertaking, right. of course. <clears throat> so I'm excited. It is good. If you get annoyed or frustrated, you're like, "What the?" Just text. Give you a call. Yeah. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment below letting us know what you thought about the video.